Howdy folks, welcome back to the Kapaku server. I am the Tall Turtle and this is my best friend, the Pigman. I should really find a name tag for him. But, um, I know he said we're going to the jungle today, but we're not going to the jungle today. I am going to work on this area here, which is going to be my enchantment room, brewery room, and anvil room. And it's just been bothering me. I've had this on my mind for a while. I've sketched out a bunch of different plans. And I'm just spending so much time thinking about it. I'm just going to do it. So I'm actually just going to not just work on this day, but I'm going to work on this today. However, before we do that, we have a few other things to show you. So let's hop down here. Anything down there? Nope. And, um, well, first of all, we're going to feed some cows. That tree I planted to get some more wood, it is not going to stay there. That is just to get some wood. So let's cut across here and feed some animals before it gets dark. And we still got some sheep breeding, which is good. Let's throw some of them in here. And there we go, everybody. Everybody, you too, because I need a whole bunch of um, whatever it's called, leather for what we're going to do. So let's get a whole bunch of them going. And put them back. We might as well feed the pigs and chickens while we're here as well. Since we're here already. Well, we're gonna close. So there we go. And feed everybody. Make some babies. This is a family-friendly channel, but hopefully the facts of life aren't new to too many of you. If they are, now's the time to ask your parents. Um, and some baby birdies. I'll let the eggs stay there. I don't really need them that much. Alright, I should have brought stuff for another bucket while I was here, but I didn't. Oh, I was gonna get some... I was gonna wax some, um... Sugar cane while we're at it. And if we go over here, you will see this purple hut-looking thing. I created a fishing hut so that I could fish at night without getting attacked. Oh, I guess I just did these, didn't I? Um... And I'll talk more about that later. I just want to get the sugar cane harvested here quickly before nightfall. Let me get some of those down here. Yeah, I just harvested this because I normally get a st over a stack and a half when I do this. Um, I know there's some here to replant. Hope I didn't miss any down there. Oh, okay, maybe I just missed one. There's some right there. Okay. And three. All right. There we go. Uh, did I miss any more? I don't think so. There's one sticking up. Oh, nope. All right, whatever. Let's hop inside before it gets dark. I don't really feel like fighting monsters right now. And you'll see, first thing I'm going to show you, I expanded our storage a little bit. I'm not totally sold on the black around the roof line, but we'll work on that later. Um, but anyway, let's hop in here. I have a few things to show you before we get going on our main project. So I added this half story, and now we have all of our terracotta here, and all of our nether stuff and end stuff there. These are actually empty now. Wow, what a pretty view. Isn't that nice? Um, and I was gonna have some colored glass, but I realized that I really like, I really like the clear glass. So I did that the other day and if we go all the way down I added a basement and this is my overflow so this will be overflow dirt overflow nether rack this will probably be overflow cobblestone and that light from above so I added that and I do not believe grass will grow because there's no light so I'm hoping the grass never grows I want it to be this dirty looking thing and finally I finally found some clay I walked down the river a ways got a bunch of clay and I made a clay brick so all of our inventory is complete except the jungle wood which we'll be getting hopefully in the next episode or two and spruce which i have no idea when i'm going to find spruce i have no idea when that's going to happen but um we're going to get some supplies now for our project upstairs what do we need we need a bunch of cobble to be cooked and i know i have a project chest with my um shulker box but that's upstairs and that's actually ready to go for the jungle excursion and i didn't feel like emptying it out and redoing it so you know i just realized i should be cooking my stone upstairs because that's where we're going to be working 
We need all that though. Well, we'll come back down in a little bit. Um, do we have regular stone? Oh, never mind. I'll just use this stone. We're gonna need probably all of that. I'm gonna move this so it looks nice. All right. I think that's all we need. Um, let's take some trees, I guess. Oh, I also did some tree hunting the other day. Um, no, wait. What are we going to use? No, we don't. I don't think we're going to need any trees unless we make sticks for some tools. So let's just bring some of that. We'll let that cook. I guess we don't really need it. Um, anything else I'm going to need? So I have to keep running back and forth. I think we're set. Nothing's been spawning, which is nice. I do... Oh, one more thing I did. I um, Actually, let's just run out. I'll show you. I can brave the elements. Is it raining? Yes, it is. Let me just darken up the spawn now. Oh, well. I also um tried the carpet above the glowstone, and I don't think I like it. I think I'm going to put the slabs back on top of that. Why are my lights flicking all funny? Anyway... Yeah, and then these torches are going to become glowstone. So I need a ton of glowstone, although I'm not going to get glowstone without silk touch because it's a big waste so um we'll see how that goes let's see if my pigment friend is here if he despawned oh did he despawn oh he did um alrighty well and that tree like I said that tree is not going to stay there all right well we're ready to start a project yeah this is all jungle stuff actually we need this glass though since I'm right here hope I remember to uh, I'm going to bring some in here in case I forget like that, just in case we forget for the other project. Um, I made some purple dye on purpose. I made lime green chalker box on purpose. And I think that's what I need to talk about. Enough blabbing. So I have a plan for this. It's all written on paper. I'm going to dig this out all the way to the roof. And then we're going to make three rooms with an iron railing so we don't fall off. And slabs, I'm going to dig out underneath there and put tables. So I have it already planned. I just need to get started. And, um, well, maybe it's not, I don't know. I couldn't decide between four high and going all the way up. So we might be making adjustments there. But I have an idea. Let's start with four high, I guess. But we're also going to be adding glass to the end of our hallway there. There's going to be glass, and it's going to go up at an angle with steps. At least has to be five deep, I think, I have on my paperwork. One, two, three, four, no, four deep. Four deep. So what this means is I'm going to be digging this out, but then we also have to do a lot of little side projects. Like we have to get more diamonds so we can get obsidian, so we can get an enchantment table in the enchantment room. We have to go to the blaze farm to get blaze so we can make our brew stand, brewing stand for our brewery. And I'm hearing cave sounds, which means there might be a cave back here. And then we have to go to the witch farm to get um, glowstone so I can finish my glowstone out on the patio. So a bunch of different things today in this episode, not just a dinging episode. And I also need to fish a little bit more so that I can get more fish. And we do go to the jungle soon. Um, we have enough fish to get an ocelot because if I only bring a couple fish... It's probably not going to get us a cat. I need to bring a lot of fish. So that's something else we may be doing. So my biggest question, though, for myself is, do I want my railing along this level here? Or do I want to indent it? But then if I indent it, that'll get even more narrow. So I think... Do I have torches out there? I must have put torches out in that dark forest. I sure did. Well, that's an oak forest. Oh, there's something hanging out there by that tree. Um, anyway, I think the rally is going to go here because I'm going to dig out underneath anyway. So I'm just going to dig, dig, dig and make a jump cut to when I have something to show you or else this is going to be the longest episode of nothing ever. So I will be back in just a moment of magic. Okay, we're going to try something here. I have this idea. I'm going to try to push him under here because if he'll go... No, 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 come back. If he'll go... Then, um, watch this. Okay, ready? Go. Oh, poor guy. 
I actually feel really badly. Oh my gosh, how much else does he have? That was insane. Ooh, gold nugget. But I can't take it because I got stuff in my inventory. Let's um, get rid of the sugar cane quickly here. Sugar cane has its own spot. And let's also throw one of these... Gosh, no, let's go like this. Let's throw that in there, and then I can get my gravel, too. Yay, I finally got my first little gold nugget thing from a pigman. Where did... Nope, I didn't get it because I'm full. What? What did I pick up? Uh, I don't need that, I guess. Okay, whatever. How fun is that? Anyway, I haven't got really anywhere, by the way. I'm just... Just digging and adding glass as I go. I'll show what I'm going to do with this column in a minute. So I'm just going to keep going. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with the zombie pigmen. If you can call that fun. And I'm going to keep going. I'll be back a little bit. What? Can they break down doors? Hey, don't break down my door. I thought they could only do that in hard mode. Or maybe these guys always can. Hey you, leave my door alone. That scared the living daylights out of me. I'm just trying to make some of these things for later. When I make that guy later. Because I want to make some more of... Is it these? No. Whoops. Um, no, 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 no. What are they? How do I make... There we go. <coughs> Man, my heart is like beating right through my chest right now. I know the zombie pigment can't hurt me. But oh my gosh, that scared me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, I was about to show you what I was going to do anyway. So the timing is actually pretty good. Um, I got this all dug out. I need to get one more piece of glass up there. And two more pieces of glass down there. And that will be dug all the way through to the outside. That's just going to be another time. I'll dig that all the way out. But otherwise, we're going to get started on our rooms here. So what we need is we need to put this away and move some things around. And, alright, so we are going to do what? We've got our walls. Actually, this wall is going to be special. But let's do this first. So we're going to have that. How many is this? Six. And then another wall. One, two, three four five six would you stop that you're ruining my stuff hey hey that is unnecessary that is not necessary i guess i have to put an iron door on there because um um they're just gonna keep coming up here jeez stop that all right so six and then one of these guys and then we'll do stairs. I'll show you what those stairs are going to be doing in a minute. And then we need what? What do we need here? We need six more. Hmm, this is going to change things here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is all going to have to change. That is going to have to come out. Because then we're going to have another wall here. So this will be the enchanting room, this will be the brewery, and then that's going to be the anvil room. So this has to come out, and we have to modify my steps, I guess, and I'll show you what I was going to do. But before I do that, let me get some more light going here, and I'll show you what I was going to do for the wall, so that you can see through it. I was going to actually put, um, actually I was going to put them, yeah top like this and then this back wall will come out and it'll be brick but that'll be later i'm just gonna go one two that's the top the top i'm gonna go like that all the way up and that was gonna be brick on the back wall this have to dig out more i guess and then what i'm gonna do with these stairs i'll show you what i'm gonna do with the stairs i need a bunch of dirt though did he finally break through my door or did he give it up I don't even know. Scare the daylights out of me, though, man. Um, let's uh, let's see. That's not what I meant. 
Let's get this staircase in place here quickly. All right, and there we go. We got the stair place, staircase in place. And it's going to go like that for each of these rooms. It's going to go up. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to go staircase all the way. Is it raining again? If I'm going to go staircase all the way across and make like a roof. Or if each room is just going to be open like this. I'm not sure if I'm digging the openness, to be honest. Um, it's a little too open for my comfort. Let's just throw these in quick, though, and see. Am I going to get that one in there? I am. I can do that just for the end wall. Whoop, wait a second. I obviously messed that up. Um, I like that, though, like that. Maybe I should do that with all of them, then. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take these out and move them up one. And the only reason why I have that see-through is so that when this is all big and open and everything, and I'm not going to be able to get up here, am I? When that's all big and open, you'll be able to still see that it's glass behind there. And like I said, all that stone behind there will be cleared all the way out to the open world. So I'm just planning to do that on the sides. Um, I guess perhaps I'll have to put a roof on it because... That doesn't look like a room at all, because in here, we're going to have one space opening, and then this was just going to be a regular solid wall. I was not going to do those graded things there, and then the stairs go across, and then I was going to make it solid. So it might look more like a room once I have these stairs in place. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. So let's get, let's get that put together and let's have a look at that. Right, so you get the idea there, come through, this will be the enchanting room. And we're going to use the library style, or the corner library style. So we'll just put a chest here and then bookcases in the corners, which means that it's actually going to block that a little bit. But that is okay, because then we can see the books from the outside, because there's going to be a balcony out there. We're going to see the books. And I also left a space of air down in there too, which you can't see from here. So I think that's how that's going to work. Um, I think I'm going to put a roof on it because that is way too open. That does not seem very much like a like a room at all, does it? But I want this open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some more slabs. Actually, I'm going to dig my way out of my own little thing that I created here. I'll staircase out of here. Um, make some slabs. And then put a slab roof on it, I think. Just across, just so it's cozy. Maybe up here. I'm not sure I'll have to figure it out. And then we'll get some stuff in there. But I'm going to make those slabs and I'll be right back. Alright, we're getting the slabs in here. Now they are placed below, so I won't have to put torches up there. Nothing can spawn up here, but it is really dark, so I might jump up there and get some torches up there anyway. So then the big question is You're way too high. The question is then. Is that okay? Is this like a room? If I get bookcases in there, whoa. Oh my gosh, you need sunglasses. Um, or should I come down one? Let's see, if I continue that over here, what does that look like? Where are we at here? One, two, three, bottom of the fourth. One, two, three, bottom of the fourth. So let's put them in here like so and see what this looks like. I almost feel like we could put stuff up on above too, like little secret area up there or something. Then that will be that will be this. Uh, like so. That is dark. Isn't that cozy? Is that like a room? That's like a room. And I'll open, I think. I think that'll work. How can I get up here so that I can torch that even though I don't have to torch it? Um, I gotta get up there in a way that I can get back. So let's dig this out a little bit. I was worried about running to my portal room underneath, but obviously I'm fine because I haven't run into it yet. Must be a few layers lower than I thought. There we go. Yeah, so see, it doesn't have to be torched, but I'm going to anyway. So where do I want to put my torches? Oh, I can put my glass in there now. 
Oh, no, I modded glass. Now let's torch that. Can't put torches on it. So let's put a torch there. And there. And then was, it, was that one away? Yeah. One away, and that's going to be that. So one away there. All right, well, I'm going to keep planning this out. Actually, you know what? This, then, can probably be solid. Let's see. Will I be able to see that from here? I guess I think I will be, so maybe I will. Let's see. Yeah, let's leave that open. That actually looks nice. Although I'm thinking maybe... Hmm. Gosh, I'm thinking maybe this should just be... Go, that should just go straight up. I don't know. Something doesn't look right. I'm talking about right there. Something doesn't look right. Um... I don't know, it's a little more creative. I want to be something more creative. I don't want, like, solid rooms. Although now I have, like, I could put rooms up there. I could do stuff up there now. I could almost have my enchanting room, brewery, and anvil room up here. Gosh, I could do something up there. What should I do with that? Man, that's a tough decision now. I think I'll put some railings here, maybe. Um... I don't know. Tough decisions. Let's see. In the meantime, I should probably make some more steps and finish this area here. Alright, I obviously did a lot of work um, between cuts here, but I was on a roll and I didn't want to stop, so I think I got this done. Or, or the shell of it done, anyway. Um, we have our enchanting room is going to be here. And we have our Brewery room, that's going to be for our endless water supply. Ooh, I should put, like, concrete in there, like a tub. Eh, maybe not. And then we'll have a brew stand here, then our chests. And then here will be our anvil. We'll go under there with a the chest for books. And I just dug this out so we can get around. So I ended up putting on a door, an iron door, because of the doggone zombie pigmen. Um, so I think what I need to do now, before I fill in everything with furniture is I need to finish my stone area. So down here I think we're gonna keep it this stone. I meant brick, sorry. So this will actually be brick here. That's not open, is it? Okay. Brick slabs so that our anvil and chest can go on there. I feel like that should be brick. There we go. I check light levels by the way. The lowest level is eight. So um, where it's really dark right here, that's only eight. There you go. So it looks a lot darker because of the shaders, but it's not. Um, so this will stay regular stone. This will be brick. I was going to make the walls all brick as well, although that might be too much of a good thing. I think I'm going to try it. As far as the flooring goes, um, I wanted it stone like this. In the work areas and I think I'll put brick where the supplies and things go actually maybe I'll I should make that brick too I think yeah let's do some of that here it's hard to imagine once I get stuff in here but I kind of wanted to do it like that maybe I should just have it hmm I don't know this thing is all gonna be brick where everything is going to go. So there's going to be a chest and then the bookshelves will go here. I know the bookshelves are going to cover the brick. Um, I just want to know that it's there. I think I'll have a brick in the areas around the table too. Let's see, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Is he behind me? Nope. I think it'll be brick there. And some um, chanting table will go there. Let's see how this is looking so far, though. Like so. And like so. Sure seems dark, doesn't it? But like I said, when I check it, lowest it gets is eight. Yeah. All right, so enchanting table will go here. So let's make it brick just so I know for myself that it's brick under the table. Um. 
Let's see. I have a feeling, I feel like that should also be brick. Let's see, should I do anything else? So I have those two brick? I'll have to see what it looks like when everything is in there. Behind here, though, is going to go brick all the way up because we'll be able to see it from some areas. So I need to jump up on top and make it brick behind the wall. And oh, yeah, I was going to put brick in here, too. And like I said, I'm tempted. I'm really tempted to um, make the walls all brick, but that might be way too much of a good thing. We all know that too much of a good thing in Minecraft is exactly that way too much of a good thing. I'm running out of slabs, so that's why I used a full piece there. So that's going to be on this water source. I actually feel like this should be brick too then, kind of like a backsplash area. Which means that should also be brick. And before you know it, I'm just going to brick the whole thing, aren't I? There we go. Hmm. Maybe I should put brick along the back wall anyway. Come here. Yeah, that's going to be covered. You know, I am going to do that. Just as like a border area. Like I said, th oh, that is going to be brick anyway, going all the way up. I was going to catch that from the top. Um, Alright, I'm going to quick finish all this brickiness, and then I'll be right back again. I right, got my brickiness done. The pillars are all bricked up. And everything is brick where I want it. I don't want to do more brick, at least not right now, because that's going to be a lot of brick. So, let's leave it at this, and let's get our stuff... Oh, I forgot about this stuff here. So, in a moment, we'll get our stuff together to, um make what we can so we need bookshelves and enchanting table for the here so, and then here we need endless water supply and a brewing stand and some chests and then there we need an anvil so let's make some chests we can probably anything out there i should actually make another bucket while i'm at it then i can um get my endless water supply and we'll keep the other bucket anyway for um for milk eventually so let's make our other buckets and get more water we need to slaughter more actually it's daytime isn't it we can just go out the front we need more cows for leather for books and I should have enough um, I should have enough um, sugar cane for books already so i'm not worried about that checking for creepers i'm not worried about skeletons and zombies i'm worried about creepers all right let's get some leather make some more books here whoa some of their health was already low as long as i save two of these guys i might be picking everything up yes i am I really should get some critical hits, huh? There we go. There we go, that's better. I got some leather back here. Thank you. Unsuspecting, let's see. Alright, um. I can only get one of you. I need to save the other one. Back up. One of you, back up. One of you, get out of the way. And that's going to be you. Thank you. So let me um, breed these guys right away so that I have, have more cows in the near future. There we go. How much did I get? 11 pieces. All right. Well, let's get my water. And I think that'll take care of that. I cannot get an enchantment table yet. Um, and I can't get a brew stand yet. But I got my water, and I'm making my bookshelves. I need a bunch of wood. And let me throw away some of this stuff. What can I get rid of so I don't have to come back down here? Because I don't want to run up, I have to run back. Let's get rid of all of you. Man, I have a feeling I should put all this stuff away yet, but I'm going to. Um, let's see. I'm thinking, 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 thinking. I know we need a lot of wood. So 
so that I can make my bookshelves. I know we don't need that much, but I grabbed it. I already got my sugar cane. Oh yeah, I was gonna get, I'll show what I was gonna get for my brew stand, I was gonna sit on top of one of these. Oh, actually, let's go up this way. I think that's all I need for now. Bring as much as we can. Then we have to find the blaze farm to make a brewing stand, and we need to find um, the witch farm for some glowstone, and then we need to find some diamonds for a pickaxe. So I can make an enchantment table. All right, let me pick up the rest of my stuff here. And is that doggone zombie pigment still there? Goodness gracious! All right, let's make this while we can. I think it's just like this, if I remember. It's not that complicated. There we go. And then we need a bunch of stuff for bookshelves. Um, make some paper. Calculate how many paper we need. I think it's 46 pieces. I can't remember what we need. I just know we need a bunch of paper. Whoa. And that's going to fill me up. Nope. Thank you. And let me see here if I remember how this works. See, so like that, like that. No, actually, you know what? It's not that much paper. It's only three pieces of paper. There we go. That's definitely not enough books, but here we go. All right. I think it was 46 books that we need. Anyway, there we go. That'll work for now. So let's make a bunch of this. Oops, got to stack that. How many bookshelves can we make? 17 at most. Well, I'm totally not doing this right. Eight. Yeah, that's not. We need double that. So, um, there we go. I remember how to do that. So let's see, we can make some chests while we're at it though. We need a, gosh, what do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chests at least if we can. Let's just make all this. I don't really care at this point. There's eight more. There's ten. Let's make a few more. We can never have too many chests. That didn't work all right more of those all right so let's see what can we do here let's i know i'm putting books up here but not empty books let's put these here for now because that's where my leather's gonna go paper can go there for now let's put you here for now and your extra oh let's cook up this meat while we can and let's do what we can with what we've got. So let's head down here and with that zombie pigman who's driving me totally insane. I'm tempted to whack him and see if I survive, but I know better. Throw in our water supply there, which we can fill up one of our buckets. There you go. Another bucket will be for milk. And let's put down this guy there. Brewing sand will go there. That just means I want to take this. Actually, let's stick that there. That'll actually help a lot, I think. Let's stick you like that. Will that be good? That works. And then we're striking some chests down. We got our anvil too. Chests. So we're going to have double chests for the potions and the double chest for the supplies. I really want a lamp torch up there too. And then here we'll have our anvil. Oh, that scared me. Double chest for books, I guess, because enchanted books is what you get out of Anvil. Brew stand, like I said. And then... Um, enchanting table will go there, I think. And as far as bookshelves go... Like so... And they'll go too high, because we'll end up with 16 books, so they only need 15. Give me that torch back, please. And we'll put one up there, so it doesn't affect the books. And then one will go there, and one will go there. So, and one will go there. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15. I'll just leave that one low. I really don't like that. I guess I get rid of that one. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Nope, I need that one there. Anyway, so that's what that'll look like. Get our enchanting table there eventually. That torch does look pretty dumb. Maybe if I put this one up too. So let's stick it there. Pretty sure light levels are still good with that. That just looks really hideous. Let's just move it for now. We don't have a table now. Nothing's going to matter. So there we go. Our enchanting room is almost complete. We just need a few more supplies. Oh, we need a chest in here too. Like so for lapis and other stuff. Um, we need an enchanting table, which we'll be getting. The brew stand, which we need our stuff for. And our anvil room. And always, I think everything is set up, so we just have to do some resource gathering. Yeah, I just thought one more thing I can do right now. Something I can do right now is collect this stuff. I'm tight. Power three. Where did that come from? I don't know where that came from. Let's put this stuff over in its respective areas. So for potions, potion supplies, like so, and potions themselves, like so, and then books. I know these aren't enchanted books because they're written by people, but they're going to go there anyway. Let me in my library. Enchanted books go there, and eventually extra books will go there. And then in here will be my lapis, I guess, on the bottom. And there we go. We are all set there. So now I'm going to dump out my inventory, collect the things I need to go resource collecting, which means we're heading to the branch mine to get some diamonds and obsidian. And I really want to name you and keep you there, trap you in. But the problem with that is, um, well, that's not going to place is it. The problem with trapping you in is you're noisy. Yeah, let's not even bother. You left anyway. Alright, I'm going to reset everything. Oh, and I will meet you at the branch mine.